Europe, the cradle of automotive innovation and some of the most iconic car brands seems to be on a quest to eradicate older cars off the road completely. And when I say older cars, we're talking 15 years old. And if you think that does sound old, let me put it another way. A 2010 car now, that really doesn't sound very old, does it? The European Union are drafting up a scheme that could very well be the opening a war against older vehicles under the cover of environmentally friendly practices. The EU Commission is floating a proposal that could see cars branded as non-functional once they hit a certain age or if they should suffer a major breakdowns with engines and transmissions, the very components that give life to these cars. Personally, I find it horrifying that cars over 15 years old could potentially be condemned to the scrap heap if they are deemed too costly to repair. It's disheartening to think that even if your car still has plenty of miles left in it, faceless Eurocrats have decided it's not worth fixing. And this issue is not limited to Europe. Initiatives and policies like this tend to spread rapidly. Let's discuss the EU's roadmap to a zero-mission future. It's an ambitious plan aimed at reducing transport emissions by 55% by 2030, compared to 1990 levels. However, the cars have already become much cleaner during this time. Nitrogen oxides from road transport tailpipes have already decreased from 850,000 tons to 200,000 tons since 1990, marking a 76% reduction. So in a way, the targets have already been achieved. But there's a catch. The emissions from tires, brakes, and the road itself, which account for 61% of vehicle emissions, have actually increased. Tire and brake wear has gone up by 35%. It's because cars have become bigger and heavier. Older, smaller, and lighter cars are actually better for the environment. The UK and Europe are facing an imminent ban on the sale of new internal combustion engine cars by 2035. This ban is expected to push everyone towards electric vehicles, which are inherently heavier. It is quite astonishing that Europe is taking this step, considering the number of old cars still on the roads. In countries like Spain, the average age of cars exceeds 14 years, with 47% of them being older than 15 years. Even in Germany, known for its autobahns, the average age of the fleet is around 10 years. This proposal could potentially bring an end to the era of preserving and cherishing older vehicles. Older cars are actually more environmentally friendly as they make better use of the carbon footprint generated during their production. Instead, the solution being suggested is to produce larger, heavier, and more resource-intensive electric vehicles, which will only contribute further to our automotive carbon footprint. Additionally, there is a sentimental aspect to it. We are essentially killing off cars that have stories to tell, cars with character, and cars that could potentially become future classics. What will happen to the classic car industry and the art of restoration if we eliminate slightly older cars? We must not forget the skilled craftsmen in garages and workshops around the world who breathe life back into these machines, preserving their livelihoods. With the uncertainty surrounding what qualifies as a repair that is too extensive or a cost that is too high, are we going to deny future of the car enthusiasts? That would be a great loss. This proposal by the European Union is an automotive nightmare. Anyone thinking that this doesn't affect them, think this through. The plan is to kill off older vehicles. Therefore, in order to have the freedom to own your own car, you have to buy a new one, but with such high demand, they'll become expensive. Pricing most people off the roads, and not to mention the potential damage to the environment of rushing to build brand new cars, pretty much all electric, to replace the ones that we've prematurely killed off. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.